Hello everybody, JC and the Motoheads here. Thanks for subscribing to my channel. It really means a lot to me. I just spent the last two days working on this video for you guys. I feel like this is a special message that I needed to get out there. Um, if you guys are already aware of some of the stuff in the message, don't take it the wrong way. I'm just trying to spread the word of God and the gospel out. And I hope that you guys can share this message and that you can hop on board. And uh, if you're not going to be uh, a soldier, then carry bullets, you know, help me, help me get these videos out. And uh, if, if you don't like it, then you, then I appreciate for watching and giving me the time. Uh, anyways, stay tuned. The video is going to be coming out shortly. All right, you guys, God bless. The ability of a, a possible reason why, you know, we see bad in the world. And it's, uh, it's, it's in our minds sad that it had to be that way, but it ain't God's fault and it's not his will. He wanted a family that was truly gonna follow him. It's like you can take an example of like a relationship between a man and a woman, right? We now call it a relationship, right? Before they used to court have, you know, you'd go through courtship and this, this word relationship's actually newer, but they'd go through this, you see the, you know, the man and the woman. And my point is it takes two to tango, right? You can't just force someone to love you. You have to play your role. You have to give part into the relationship. You have to try, right? You have to give to get back. And that's what he wants. He could have just created us all to worship him and love him. Maybe that's how it was at the very beginning with Adam and Eve. And then he, he had to give this little job to do so that, so that we, it could be real. It could be real. It could be a real thing where his family that he builds now is true and honest and, and, came, and came to him through faith, through the belief that Jesus died and, is, and lives again, lives again. Not only did he, you believe that he died and was a man, but you believe that he was risen and lives today. That's what you believe on your heart. And it says, I'm not going to quote that that's the only unforgivable sin, but I kind of am getting that impression because it says that he, anybody, basically, I'll just say it in my own words, anybody that believes shall be saved. You can look it up. Anybody that believes on his name that he was risen from the dead and is your savior they shall be spared and they shall be saved. That's the promise. Doesn't mean it doesn't say anybody that that donates to the, the church. It doesn't say anybody that lives a perfect life. It doesn't say anybody that never told a lie. It doesn't say it doesn't even say anybody that you know never killed. It just says anybody who believes that Jesus died for your sins. And you know what? Why I can believe that? Because that seems like it's such a hard thing for people to do these days. Why is it so hard for you to accept that somebody is above this creation? Say somebody, I mean God. That there's a creator. You know? Is it hard for you to be accountable to your creator? To accept accountability? for your actions because we see I see when I look at the science that they do I see evidence of a flood I see that there we find fossils when they try to mention the fossil record all I see is wow there was a flood how do you get all these fossils to begin with things don't normally die and fossilize <laughs> and that's exact example of the devil trying to use God's God, God's evidence against him that evidence is God's. And that evidence has coming, been coming out in the scientific community more and more and more. And they keep trying to, oh crap, we got to get the people silenced as quick as we can because that information burst. We really haven't been in the computer age for very long. You guys remember AOL? Not that long ago in our lifetime. Come on, you guys. At least for some of the people who are in their, you know, mid, mid 20s and 30s, right? and older, right? But there was AOL. There was 
That's an example of speed. Now there's live streams, you know? There's Wi-Fi, there's data towers, and more stuff that you don't even know about, you know? That I don't even know about. You know why I know? You know why I can just, I can assume that? I can assume that because I'm free, first of all. I can, I can assume anything I want. I'm not forcing it down your throat. You're sitting here listening to my stream. You don't have to. And I'm telling you, it's just my opinion. And I'm, I'm, I'm willing to change my opinion. I'm not stuck and fixed to my opinion. What I am stuck to is what God says. So when we see something happen in the world, then I say, let's, let's take that and test it to the word of God. Do we see? Does it disprove the word of God? No. We don't see anything that disproves the word of God. And then they try to say, well, the, the Bible's been changed and stuff. Do you know how frequently they change their scientific theory and their, and what their, and how they believe that we got to where we're at? Do you know how often they change that? They change that all the time of, the, of how they think that we got there. It's because they, they put it under the vision that we don't really ever, we never really will know. We're just still trying to figure it out. No, we know, we know it's in the word of the Bible. We're not freaking stupid here. We're made in God's image. We, we have minds. We can think for ourselves. And that's the message for the day. Amen. And thanks again. I told you earlier, but if you stayed this long, smash that th thumbs up button. Subscribe for more updates. I'm going to start making more motivation, uh, more videos. And every little thumbs up gives me motivation. And to any haters, that just means I'm doing a good job. That just gives me more, that fuels my fire even more because I'm stirring it up. I'm stirring up conversation, you know? That's my mission. My mission is to, you know, if you already are a believer, that's great. And I'm giving, you know, but I'm really trying to, you know, encourage people to see, see the light, right? I'm not forcing you to do it. You decide for yourself. I'm just a humble person, just like your brother, your sister, your mom, or anybody else, your friend, I'm just a normal guy. Nothing to be looked up to. You look up to Jesus. Any one of you has the power inside of you right now to just get on, pull your voice recorder up and just start talking.
Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. I hope you liked it. And if you did, please share. Uh, it's real hard. It's tough. You know, I feel the, the demons coming onto me. And uh, when you have so much, uh, so much following and so many people watching, it's, it makes you, uh, they, they don't like that, right? The demons don't like that. So you can see I'm kind of nervous right now. Even just shaking. So, <laughs> Oh, you guys, but it's great though. It's good. So I really appreciate, I really appreciate you guys giving me the time if you made it this far to the end. And I'm just a humble guy, just like uh, anybody else. So please, uh, let's just get this message out and let's, let's, let's each, all of us be getting messages out. Let's not just, uh, let's just not just rely on what other people say, you know, form your own opinion. And that's kind of what my message kind of was is for us to all pick up the book and see what it says for see what it says you know because don't let somebody else don't let somebody else try to tell you what it says and i've been studying it for a long time so it's hard for me to uh i have dyslexia so it's kind of hard for me to uh put things to scripture exactly where what verse it is and the numbers and all that but, uh, you know, I take in that information and I remember it and I place it, I do like I was saying in the video and I, I, um, apply what I read in the Bible to what I see, what I see around me and I, I don't ever see it disproved. So it's just, a, it's such a great thing to believe in, um, because it's the promise of being part of eternity and being part of uh part of such you know an amazing experience right part of being sorry that's not good lighting but anyways i don't want to drag it on you guys i just appreciate it i really do and if you're not all about you know the whole jesus thing and everything then then watch some of my other videos because that's not all i do i'm not perfect you know i'm i'm just a I got I, I've got my sins, you know, I've got my sins and we're all going to find them out one day when we're standing before God. Everyone's going to see what everybody did, you know, according to the, what the words say. So remember that and uh, do something for heaven's sake. Don't be afraid to be one of those people. And that's that's what I another thing I wanted to just before we round this up is that that's what I think it's going to take really is all of us together not being afraid and all of us. I'm excited. <laughs> all of us just voicing our opinion. All of us coming and saying, hey, I believe when the skeptics are around and when that massive crowd of just believers comes, you're, it's going to be, it's going to be amazing. I hear this question everywhere. The skeptics, the evolutionists, they're always asking, how can you believe that Jesus Christ was risen from the dead? And um, I always ask them, how can you believe that all life arose from non-living materials? So they have more faith than the Christians do. And then they try to criticize us with that same logic. So you see, there, it's not um, creation versus science. It's, it's actually two different religions that both require faith. And it just depends on where you put that faith. Um, it's not that religion is bad. We all have faith. We all have some sort of religion that we subscribe to, whether you admit it or not. Um, atheism it ties with evolution, and it is a religion. Um, just like Christianity, you, you have to believe in it, and it requires faith. One of the main differences is that evolution has uh, tax funding, and they're still getting their kicked by the creationists that don't have any tax funding. Um, it's because we're right and they're wrong and it's because we have God on our side. But just take a look at the facts. We see the flood, we see fossils, massive graveyards of fossils. It's just evidence of a flood, evidence that God does have authority over this creation, that he destroyed it once. If we read his promises, he says that he'll come back. Only this next time is this not going to be with water. We have the promise of the rainbow. He will never destroy the earth with water again, but it will be with fire and brimstone. Um, so 
I just pray that you put your faith in Jesus because he's the only one that's going to bring you salvation. Nothing else is going to satisfy. And uh, when you die, you're going to be dead for a long time. So the risk versus reward is, is, is unmeasurable. So take a look. Pick up your Bible. We're in hard times right now. Um, people really need to wake up and start seeing that, you know, you've been lied to in the textbooks. You've been lied to about millions of years. You've been lied to about that you <laughs> you share a common ancestor with an, the apes and that you evolved and that it just belittling you and making you feel smaller and smaller and, you know, just ha less like, like you don't have a purpose. So we all have a purpose. And um, the only unforgivable sin is not accepting Jesus. So if you feel like you're not good enough, you just take that and you knock that feeling down right now and you stomp it because nobody's good enough. Nobody's good enough. And that's why Jesus died for us. And through our faith, not through our good works, are we saved and the grace of God. We do good works because we're grateful, but we don't have to. Um, it's not to just say that it's a get out of jail free card, so to say, but it's more, like I said, there, there's going to be different places and positions in heaven. I don't believe that once you get accepted into heaven, you can be kicked out. But you will be rewarded, and our, our works here on earth will be tested with fire in heaven. If your works are burnt up and there's nothing left, God doesn't say that you're going to perish, but he says that you are going to basically be, you're not going to have anything left. But you're still going to be in his kingdom, assuming that you accepted Christ as your Savior. And on the other hand, if you do more works here and you're a trooper and you try to get people and bring them into the, you lead them to Jesus and then obviously Jesus is going to take it from there. But you, you're the workhorse, you're the messenger and you're, you're trying to point out the lies and point out the truth, right? And be that messenger. That's why we're here. So I'll leave it with that. And um, thanks for watching. Subscribe. It really helps to give me motivation and get these videos out. Um, take a look at some of my dirt biking videos. We have all kinds of other videos, a van series. I'm going to be doing some how-to videos. And um, uh, we, we grew up surfing, so we, we have a lot of accountability and different uh, testimonies from our own life where Jesus has come into us and helped us in hard situations where we were going to drown, where we were in a hurricane, where, you know, there's, you know, and this is my opinion. But to each their own, and this is a testimony. So there's, there's a lot of them out there, and I just wanted to send that little message and remind everybody that Jesus does love you, and he has a plan and purpose for all of us if you would have him and just ask him into your heart right now and just basically ask him, I'm a sinner, say your name, tell him, admit that you're not good enough and that you believe that he is the Redeemer. And that's really all it takes. And from there, you can add as much you want into it. And it's not going to happen right away. You're not just going to go from being a bad guy to a good guy. We're, you're still not going to be good enough. And that's the point, is that you die daily and you ask him to come into you and build you up to do the best you can. And by you asking, you're giving him permission to come in. Until you ask, he doesn't, he doesn't have permission to come in because it's free will that we want. You're allowing... You're allow when you don't have him in there, you're allowing any other demons, any other angelical beings, right? You could call them ghosts, demons, spirits, whatever, right? But they can come and possess you in, in different degrees of severity, whether they're just mi uh, very minor or very severe of levels of possession that the demons can come and influence your thoughts and your mind. And when you tell them, no, you're not allowed to be here, um, you're not, I am, I am God's, I am created in his image. I'm his child. You are not allowed here. And be gone. You can cast them out. And they, you are God's. You are God's child. And when you say, Jesus, come into me. And in his name, cast these, these thoughts and these evil ways out and away. You're not just going to be magically fixed. 
you know, you're going to fall back down, but you keep striving and you, you allow him to come into you. And that's where you start. That's where the seed starts. So we went a little bit longer than I, I thought we were going to, but we kind of went off a little tangent tangent. Anyways, thanks again, JC and the Motoheads. Uh, hit that subscribe and thumbs up button, you guys. And uh, please uh, ask questions. You know, uh, there's a lot of skeptics out there. I'm not trying to bash on anybody. I, I, I want everybody to come. I want everybody to come into the heaven of God. So um, there's no point in really fighting with people that don't, uh, that just want to fight. You know, if you have good questions and you really are sincerely looking for the answers and truth, then those are the kind of people that, that you know, I'm willing to talk to with and to further, you know, debate with. But some people, they just, you know, it's almost they're not, they're stuck to their their ways and they're more like a leech. So it's better not even to deal with them, you know. Um, anyways, <laughs> I guess I'll leave it at that. And thanks again. All right, mahalo. That's it. Thus the heavens and the earth were finished and all the host of them. That was it. He was done. He was done building, right? That was, you know, he rested. So we read here in chapter 2, chapter 2, 2, and the seventh, and on the seventh day God ended his work, which he had made, and he rested on the seventh day from all the work, from all his work, which he had made. So... It wasn't millions of years. It wasn't millions of years. It didn't take evolution. He didn't he did not do it using evolution. If you believe in evolution and you believe in a god that did it through evolution, you're welcome to believe in that. But I'm trying to point out that that's not the same God in the Bible that I'm holding in my hand right now, the Holy Bible, King James Version. It's not the, it's not the same. Same. Mine even has a picture of Jesus on it. But no one really knows exactly what it looks like. 